Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, shall we? Alright, so here we are, and if I check the map, we're in the Market Square. We got a lot to do here. We're looking for a bridge, or something like a bridge. And... That's our primary concern as we mess around with our group of amazing warriors that we've... I've respect myself, but you see how I slipped right here? I got told that if I go to the person who cast me. the Grease spell, I can um, turn it off in some way. So let's see um, how I do that. Uh... There should be some way for me to turn this spell, um, like, uncast it. I don't know if you... Let's see. No suitable spell slots. No, no, no. What I want to do is just, like, take off maintenance of that spell. Or, oh, here we go. Is this it? No, no. I just put it over here, which I didn't mean to do. Oh, um, me? Let's see. Action. Um, resist fire. No, no, no. Pretty sure there's a way to like okay, well it's gone anyway, but I think there's a way to prematurely cancel the effect of a spell that's out there so I don't keep tripping on it, but in the meantime, it's gone. Alright, so let's loot these people. Um oh they don't really have any. Or maybe they do. Here we go. Ah, all kinds of valuable stuff. Yeah, take it. Sweet. Anything else? Um these are just their stats. Okay. So, oh boy, it's battle time. Oh, there's some friendly people here, so... There's some crusaders that are in the in the thick of it, fighting um, some neophyte barbarians and fighters. Okay, so Sila's ready to rock. Um, can you charge, Sila? Uh, nah, not too far away, um, unfortunately. Alright, so just double move up here. There you go. Okay, so she's over here. And now, um... I do not believe that my character actually... I have spells, but I don't know if I have charge. Do I? Let's see about this. Can I charge this guy? That guy. I can charge somebody. Do it charge up there. Let's see if you can hit him with your Radiance. You did! I dealt 8 damage. That's great. Okay. Um, you can roll up to the max of your movement here, and then we could use a spell, like where you know, we could go ahead and use Battle Spirit probably don't need it right here, but anyway, <laughs> doing it, doing it, let's have some fun, Wolgif's going in, and Wolgif, um, we're going to hang back, so I've been given some tips about how to use Wolgif, and he's cool, he's definitely sneaky, but we don't, my dude has, you know, not the best uh, tanking ability, like, his armor class, that's okay, but... He might go down quickly, so let's just let him get some sneak attacks once we engage. Uh, I can always just mage armor him. And uh, he should be, you know, be better off. Let me see what he's at. Uh, yeah, that increased his armor class by two from the mage armor. So that's pretty good. And then Lan, um, can you shoot this one? Yeah, just double shoot, buddy. 
five damage, miss. All right, here comes the Crusader. Uh-oh, is there something over here that you're fighting, or? Oh, good, good thing I did use that ability. There's way more of them around the corner. Okay, so that's important. Aw, poor Crusader. They're really going after that guy. I'm try to keep that dude alive. All right. So, Sila can now just start obliterating things. Um, this should be the easy pickings. Yeah, just blade. annihilation from Sila right there. And uh, you can actually smite evil as a swift action. on this Barbarian. It's not huge, you know, but it's okay. It just makes her hit it better and makes it hit her less. So we'll just go ahead and push Spacebar to end the turn. Now, do I want to take a swing or do I want to do something like, you know, um, Shield of Faith or Bless Everybody? This guy has a terrible armor class, 11. So I should probably just swing at this guy's face. Do not hold back. Yeah, I got six damage on him. And I don't need to move. We're good. Alright. Can you come up and hit this dude? I'll you sure can. Alright, this guy is dead. Or he should be dead. He's at minus six hit points. Is he like because he's enraged, let me, uh, Cover me see right. what he's got. Temporary hit points. Okay. What's going on here? So the, the temporary hit points... That should still not be keeping this barbarian alive. What is keeping you up? Um, is there some spell effect? Uh, I thought I, could, I was looking at all of the effects on you. you, zap you. Um, Why not both? I don't see what it is that's making this guy not die. But anyway, um... Let's see, who gets to go next? Lan? Okay, so Lan can shoot. Let's just for me. put Wolgif up here to kind of go in melee range uh, against that dude. And can you finish this you guy off? Won't survive me. Oh. Okay, finally, we got the Barbarian. This Crusader must have been terrified or intimidated or something and ran away. Is the only thing I can take that as. Um, ooh, we pro he provoked an attack of opportunity. That's why I moved into melee with Wolgif, and it worked. He, so he didn't have the skill, or the feet rather, to let him attack cleanly like that with somebody up in his face, and it just ruined him. Now, another thing I want to say is um, I'm getting so much great help from everybody, and another part of that is that at some point, if I feel like because of the new party composition and the way that things are unfolding with the knowledge everybody's giving me in the comments. Um, and by the way, everybody's been doing a great job of not spoiling the game, um, but just kind of helping to answer my questions or help point things out that I'm not aware of, and I appreciate that. I don't want the story, of course, spoiled, and, you know, I'm just trying to still figure everything out on my own. I'm not looking at guides or anything like that, just doing a, you know, first-time blind playthrough. But... If it gets too easy, my point is I might roll up to core difficulty, uh, but we'll see. I mean, you know, it's hard to say. Into the fray! Into the fray, indeed. So she's up there threatening, and we'll just space bar, and um, I can charge this guy, right? Yes, charge. Charge in. Oh, my God. 
that went well. I really like my new character. <laughs> I just feel like um, a little bit stronger. I know that maybe this character will get outpaced by the previous character later, um, but for now, this is great. Okay, so let's go back and search and just take everything. And... I also like that the game, it's like if I miss searching something, the game's going to probably let me loot it. Uh, let's see, so this is the area exit. We're looking for that bridge. I've been informed that the time quests I want to be aware of are the library and the tower. So, uh... We definitely want to go to the library to talk to the storyteller, okay? Um, but I think we need to find the, the way to get across the rift here in Market Square before I can do some of these. And this one, there's his mansion. This is the one, um, the Tower of Estrade. So I definitely want to do that one too. All right. So I'm just going to, you know, quick save the game. And we're going to just run up here. I'm just kind of exploring the map. And that's an area exit. And we found some loot in there. Okay. So there's some treasure inside this building, but I can't get to it from here. This is enormous, by the way, this building. So let's turn around and go this way. All right. And let's see. We got, we got burning Save embers, and we got some me. dretch, and we're starting the battle. And um, they are flat-footed. Maybe Camellia is the only one who's not. Um, go hit this guy. What is this? It's a citizen. Oh my gosh, you're just attacking citizens? Okay, there's some crusaders over here at least. All right, we can do this. He rolled well to hit you, but he only hit for two, so. Sunder armor. Crusader taking a shot. Good job. All right. Sela, can you charge? Yeah. Can you charge this one? No. Do it. Bam. Out of the... Out of here. All right. Shoot this guy. Move up and so you can see him and just bap him. Wall gif. Um, I'm going to have you move to your full movement. And then, uh, I guess we're flat-footed, so we don't get to do anything else. That's fine. Crusader is doing that smite thing. Looking good. All right. Can we charge anybody? What about that dude? No. Um, okay. Then just get up as close Strike as you can. One. That's right. We need a better shield for my dude here. Eventually. All right. That's good. End the turn. Round two, baby. Now we're not flat-footed. Uh, let's just go ahead and... You can't get an attack on? Yeah, you can. you got to be able to get an attack. Here. Go right here. Now swing. That is a critical hit. And her weapon gets through his defense. And he's hitting this Crusader. He had three attacks per round. That's a lot. All right, Sela. Um, she can hit from probably... I wonder if she can hit from here. Let's see if she can get a swing in from that vantage point. She sure can with the reach. Ah, she missed. That's uncommon. All right, Land, get those shots in there. Two shots, baby. One and two miss. Okay. Well, Jeff, do you want to get up and... Uh, Get a sneak attack in. I think, from what I understand, if he's being threatened by two people, then the sneak attack will happen. Um, oh, is this still too far to get a hit in? That's too bad. Um, okay. What about this? I don't want to hit my own people. Yeah, just burn this guy. Okay. It did hit my own dude, and I did not mean to do that. I thought they would like highlight or something if they were in the cone. I got to do a better job of understanding the AOE translation a bit there. I'm going to swing. 
and I've missed, and that's awful. Hit him. Go for their heart. That's it. That's their heart. Energy resisted. Okay, so he's resisted to fire anyway, so that was a big waste. Yeah, these are demons. Fire is probably not the smartest thing. Okay, and we got some experience. Um, all right. And how you doing? The Eagle Watch not abandon its post no matter what happens. I like your attitude. All right. We're going to keep going. Let me look at the map. So, okay. Let's just roll down here then, people. Yeah, this is the big gap that we need to figure out a way to get across. And... Um... I'm going to check over here just to make sure it's not... Yeah, build a bridge out of debris. That's what we're talking about. Do that. The did it. Okay, this is it. Great. All right, I almost walked past it. Yikes. Hey, we made a door bridge. How about that? All right. So now we can explore some other parts of the city by using this little bridge. And um, we can get across the rubble with a good athletics well, check. Didn't go um, well. Oh my god, that took three hours. You've me to the bones and today. we failed the check. Holy goodness. Okay. Um, I should have saved the game. I didn't realize that it was going to do that. Let me save the game again and just... So, I wish they would warn you, but like, if you fail, this will take three hours of your time. Okay, hopefully that's not a big deal, but... I'm going to be careful again with that. Quickens. I like how, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, it's rubble, like, but what would take three hours about failing that? Like, he's just standing there like, this is about, what, 20 feet? Anyway, surprised me. Okay, where's the bad guys? Can you show me? Um, can I target them? I don't see them on my map. I guess they're this way. I'll walk her all the way over here. Oh, no. Um, yeah, just go over here. Here we are. Here's the pad, guys. Okay, she found them. All right, let's go ahead and use your special weapon. And uh, she can't attack, so I'm just going to end the turn. I'll, I'll uh, move up you know, behind her. And then the turn. The world in Sweet double attack of opportunity. That was nice. Now I have no attack of opportunity left, unfortunately, but they came right up to us, so let's just try to take we a swing, overcome. and it's dead. And I really like what you did. Radiance got a hit for 10 damage. Take that, buddy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just max move Sela out here. Just letting her hang out off the edge of the cliff. See these centipedes. That's gross. That would unnerve me so horribly. She killed it with the attack of opportunity. Oh, man, it rolled exactly to hit me, but it only did two, so we'll be fine with that. Go ahead and take a double shot on that thing. One, miss. All right, she can finish this off, right? That's it. Heck yeah, she can. All right. Let's go ahead and keep looking. I'm going to look at the map. And uh, we see some area exits. All right, there's some people over here talking. Um, Rami... Uh, Ramian, my beloved brother, I admire your zeal, of course, but would you not agree that this is hardly the time to be standing guard over a hole that no one will ever emerge from, or perhaps you're concerned that someone will decide to go for a nighttime stroll and will accidentally fall into it? Such foresight is laudable, but do you really need so many soldiers for such a task? Can't your warriors be put to better use, for instance, fighting demons or clearing rubble while people trapped beneath it might still be alive. The face of his this golden curled Asimar is beautiful even by the standards of his kind in whose veins run the blood of angels. That's nice. Cherubic. His melodious voice sounds cheerful but bitter reproach simmers in his gaze. Ooh, it's Hull Run, the inept town guard. Don't you dare call me brother heretic. I'm guarding this hole, and I'll guard it all day long and help no one. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's what he's doing. I'm just 
I'm jumping to conclusions. Sorry about that, whole run. The signs of recent hard fighting are obvious in this stern old man. His armor is dented and covered in blood, and his unnatural pallor suggests something more dangerous than wounds inflicted by claws and fangs. Nevertheless, his gaze is stony, and his voice, accustomed to barking orders, is harsh and clipped. How dare you accuse me of doing nothing to protect this city, especially now when followers of your temple were caught committing treason. To my mind, you are no different than the demon worshippers, those miscreants, those beasts that are digging under the city walls. Ramian says, everyone knows, my dearest prelate, that in your zealous pursuit of order in the city, you have long since forgotten how to tell friend from foe and good from evil. That's what happened with my adepts, whose acts of, quote, treason was a genuine attempt to save the city, and yet again, I'm forced to repeat myself, while we are wasting time on pointless quarrels, people are dying under the rubble in our city. People whom we could have saved if you'd only set your soldiers to the task and not kept them here, surrounding a useless and utterly harmless hole in the ground. Harmless? Well, if it's on your say-so, then that must mean there's someone down there. Your associates, no doubt. And they're just waiting for us to abandon our post before they slink out and try again to... The old man notices your approach. And you, I remember you. You appeared in the city the day the demons attacked, and Terendalib died. What are you doing here? Answer at once, or I'll have you strung up by your ankles before you know it. I'd love to see you try that. Don't think that the demons have wounded me. I still have enough strength to take on a hundred of your sort. We're all very impressred. And what is this hideous creature? Holrun peers at lean, uh, land with suspicion. Lan, at your service, the mongrel ducks his head in a bow. My forebearers fought in the First Crusade. I've lived in Canabras my whole life. You haven't ever seen me before? Ah, it must be because you don't ever venture into our underground district. We've been meaning to complain to the city authorities that our paving stones have been in need repair for a long time. The First Crusade? So you're a mongrel, humph. You obviously know human speech surprisingly well, in fact. All right, let's be off with you, the prelate looks at you. If he causes any trouble, I shall hold you responsible. Come to think of it, you still haven't told me who you are. I'm a crusader. I'm fighting to liberate Canabres from the demons. Bam. A crusader, you say? Hmm. I'll be looking into that in my book that lists all the crusaders. You obviously don't know to whom you are speaking. Oh, I do. That's why I'm speaking this way. I'm the one who decides who's a crusader and who's a traitor in this city. Oh, good. Holrun, Shapok, prelate of Canabras, by the grace of Her Majesty Queen Galfrey and the city's defender against threats from within and without. And as we can see, you've done a sterling job protecting the city. Yeah, he's done a great job. The golden curled Asimar flashes a flinty smile. I am Ramian of Edme, prior of the Temple of Desna, which, alas, currently lies in ruins. Wise Holrun here believes it is vital to guard this hole in the ground from which he is certain demons will emerge at any moment. I've been trying to convince him that the city has far more urgent matters to deal with. For instance, rescuing those currently dying under the rubble. Desna is the great dreamer, Lady Luck and Mother Moon, goddess of dreams, luck, stars, and travelers. She's among the most ancient of deities. While her peers burdened themselves with the task of creating Galerion, she spent her time building the heavens. She knew that there would be plenty of time for her and her followers to explore the many wonders of the world later. She has changed little since those earlier days, and she and her followers delight in exploring the world. Oh, okay. You know what? There may be, in fact, one matter that's more important than guarding this hole. I've put it off and put it off, and look where it's led us. I should have had you hung from the gates back when you dared to defend your gang of delinquent demon collaborators. If the Sarkorians and hanged Arilu had hanged Arilu Vorlesh, while they still had the chance, there'd never have been a war. I won't repeat their mistake. I won't hesitate any longer. Soldiers, seize this scum. And Sela says... Prelate see reason. These are fighting times, but threatening to hang someone without trial, that is unworthy of a servant of Iomade. Boom. The old man fixes his eyes on Sela. Lest you forget, girl, we may serve the same goddess, but you are not an inquisitor. Don't question the way I choose to serve Iomade, and I won't question yours. Actually, I chose Iomade, so I'm going to be like, 
angelic mythic path reveal the light of heaven. Behold, Inquisitor, I bear the gift of an angel who died in the caves below Canabres. I am no enemy of yours. Yeah, let's see what he says about this. Check this out, dude. Magic time. The old man frowns and whispers something, a prayer or a spell. With each word, his face relaxes. You are telling the truth. The light in your hand was wrought by the power of heaven. I will keep an eye open. I will keep an open mind with regard to you, stranger, and later, under less fractious circumstances, I'd like to ask you about how you came to receive your gift. I killed a automated golem bearing a striking resemblance to Hull Run. It was called Hull Robot and gladly took the sword as my spoils. But that can wait. Now I must deal with this filth once and for all. <laughs> Lawful says you're doing what's right. There's no place in the crusade for troublemakers. Oh my goodness. What precisely are you accusing Ramian of, Inquisitor? Treason. Not long before the city was attacked, several followers from his temple tried to secretly access the Wardstone and perform an unknown ritual over it. Holrun is trembling with fury. The Wardstone of Canabres, the gift from Iomade, the bringer of light, wrought by the hands of her herald, the first in the chain, and followers of that crazy runt of a goddess tried to meddle with it using their magic after hearing a, quote, voice in their dreams. My soldiers almost had them caught when Ramian got in their way, allowing the traitors to go to ground. I made a mistake. I didn't have him locked in a cell and interrogated to within an inch of his life, and now the city lies in ruins. It's time to rectify that mistake. Oh, this guy's uh, a little bit of a nut job. You don't think that the problem with the Wardstone could have anything to do with that blind, horned demon lady and the giant fly lord with the side that killed Terendalev? You think it was this dude who's an angel? I've told you before and I'll tell you again. My people foresaw the attack on the city. They knew the Wardstone, the, uh, the Wardstone already carried the seed of corruption within itself and they were simply trying to heal it. I've heard similar claims before. Now, where was it? Ah, yes, from Staunton Vane, the traitor who brought down Dresden. The lessons of the past have taught us a great deal. And that is why I never believed you or your mob's lies, even for a second, and I was right. So, unfortunately, I only have a few options here. And I guess I have to go off script because I know what I want to do personally, and it's the chaotic option. I didn't choose to be chaotic, but I don't like the lawful option because I believe, like the storyteller, that people knew that something was wrong with the Wardstone. And I like the idea of helping the people in the city who are trapped under the rubble. I don't think that this is a bad person, and Hull Run is just like, you know, suspicious of everyone, including me. But I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to just let him bully people. And, you know, so I'm going to do the chaotic option. Don't lay a finger or you'll have to answer to me. Um, the Asimar holds up his hands in a placating gesture. Stop. You are the defenders of what remains of Canabres. Can't you think of anything better to do than be at each other's throats in the ruins of the city? You performed an action that was chaotic. Ramian looks at the prelate. You're a fool, Hulrun. You're a zealot and a murderer, but you're a fool first and foremost. I told you that the Wardstone was weakened. You wouldn't listen. I warned you that the city was going to be attacked. You shooed me away. The truth is that my young adepts were trying to save the Wardstone and you stopped them. Of course, those truly responsible for this tragedy are the demons, but you've done nothing to prevent it. And now you would still rather kill an innocent person and perish yourself than admit you were wrong. As always, with a wave of his hand, the Asimar vanishes. And he throws a temper tantrum. He fled, the heretic. He's no doubt expecting me to rush off in pursuit, but that won't work on me. Holrun turns his attention to you. What about you? If you truly have been marked out for a gift from heaven, this is your chance to save the city. Go and bring back that filthy traitor. I'm almost certain that he and his cronies were helping the demons, either knowingly or unknowingly. Their attempt to bewitch the Wardstone is clear proof. Ramian must be captured. Um, 
Ramian really warned you about the attack? Feud of the Faithful. Those crazed Desnans were always bursting into my study with their incoherent prophecies that came to them in their dreams. I won't lie, sometimes what they said did come to pass, but can we really rely on the woolly dreams of heretics over the cold, hard facts of intelligence reports? Plenty of demons could have easily fooled them and whispered a treasonous plan in their dreams, and those lunatics would have been only too happy to listen. Not like demons could have written your intelligence reports. Holrun is not the sharpest tool in the shed. This time, Mr. Cruels for Brains came to me and declared that demons were about to attack the city and that the Wardstone's power was diminished by some kind of contamination or taint. Iomade, forgive me for even repeating the words. After uttering such blasphemy, he should have been locked up along with his followers and interrogated, but instead I simply increased the surveillance on them, and what next? My people caught them red-handed trying to attack the Wardstone with unknown magic. Right. And not three days later, the demons attacked the city. There's an obvious connection. I love how he completely ignores that they did tell him of the attack that did happen, that he did nothing about. Oh, what a piece of work. Um, whether deliberately or under demonic influence, the Desnians played right into the hands of Descari's hordes, and they almost left the city completely defenseless. Ramian covered for his people the whole time and helped them escape my guards. After what else, or after that, what else can he be but a traitor? Um, there's nothing dangerous in the hole. You have no reason to guard it. You told me yourself that you received a light-bearing gift from an angel who perished in the caves below our feet. It's no secret that those passages are teeming with dangerous creatures that could kill anyone, even a warrior of heaven. Demons and demonic offspring love roaming about the underground. That's why I will be keeping an eye on the hole. If the beasts decide to attack from here, we'll be ready for them. But what about the beasts who are here right now? Um... I don't really want to spend time talking to this guy. He's just... <sighs> I see you suffered greatly in battle. Nonsense. I had to deal with a brood of Nabusus. It was nothing. I've taken worse on enemies with the goddess's help. Um, and I succeeded in an arcana check. Um, Nabusus, also known as death demons, have the ability to drain their victim's life force. Yep, that's what happened to him. Um... The city will be better off without you. I'm not going to do that one. Why are you obsessed with finding enemies everywhere you look? Why? Why? You must not be from these parts, or you wouldn't have asked such a question. I look for enemies everywhere, because our enemies are everywhere. Who are we at war with? Demons. Demons and cultists. They are masters of deception. They worm their way into your favor and masquerade in all manner of false guises. Do you think Dresden was taken by force? No, by trickery. Were it not for me, Canabres would have gone the same way long ago, captured out from under our noses. Now listen to what I'm about to tell you. This was a long time ago, and I was very young then, and I had just joined the crusade. Back then, Canabres didn't have a garrison so much as a public thoroughfare. Anyone who wanted to, who could just stroll into the city. One day at dawn, a group of refugees came up to the city gates, bold as brath. The guards let them in, and why not? For no one was ever turned away. T'was no matter. Everyone was welcome in our city. If you came from Mendev, or if you'd hauled yourself up here from across the seas, the crusade accepted all and sundry. But on this occasion, we paid dearly for our laxity. Just as soon as those innocent lambs entered the city, they transformed into demons and rushed toward the Wardstone, slaughtering everyone who tried to stop them. Sixty-two people died in less than a minute. The demons used their mutilated corpses to desecrate the obelisk. None of them dared to go near it. The light of the goddess burned them all, so they threw the blood from afar, spattering the Wardstone from every direction, and the lead demon... An eyeless beast, Minigo is her name, yep, we've met, jeered and gloated, saying we mortals had been sitting ducks. And the creature was right, too. We let our guard down, and we got what we deserved. That bloodbath came to be known as the Red Morning Massacre, and it was burned into the townsfolk's memories. Since then, Canabres has adopted different practices. Heretics, cultists, spies, all the rabble who coveted Arilu's glory, we drove them out of the city. We haven't had any trouble here since. Many have come here. Even the Baylor, uh, Koramzade, 
The Baylor is one of Discari's most powerful generals, but his personal might is not the only reason he poses such a threat in combat. They call him the World Wound Strategist, for he is the shrewdest general among demon kind. Not too long ago, he oversaw one of the most successful assaults on Canabres and nearly destroyed the Wardstone, an achievement that only Lord Discari himself was able to claim in the end. And they have all been sent straight back to where they came from, or else they were killed for their trouble. You see, Discari himself had to crawl out of the abyss and come here. The goddess cursed him in order to break through our defenses, and what did he do? He left again, and we're still fighting. Now that is what vigilance and discipline can do. Where can I find Ramian? How should I know? The weasel can't have gone far. He turned invisible. He's probably hunkered down in some hole like the traitorous little rat he is. He'll be sitting, trembling, and waiting till he's dragged out of here. Um, with the prelate after you, that seems the only sensible thing to do. It's what I'd do, says Wolgif. I'm sure lots of things sound sensible to you, says Lan. And it works, too. As you can see, I'm still alive. So I'm not going to kill the guy. I'm just going to be like, I have to go. Go on, then, if you have to. It would be good if you could return the head of that scum. I don't... I'm not going to do that. But it looks like we got another little job to do. All right. So we've had some fun combats, um, and I'm really enjoying this, you know, filled out party. The story is awesome, and this game is awesome. Everyone, thank you so much for just helping me out. I'm going to really try to avoid respecking. I want to just play the game, and I know it's not the perfect build, and there are other, other choices, but now I'm just going to go forward um, and see what happens. So... Again, everyone, thank you for your help. Check you next time. Take care.